Now I've got a, I think a 68 GMC. So you're working on a 67 to 72. And you're just, I'm just fixing mine up for like a rat rod driver, whatever. But uh, I, what I want to put in there is a 99 to 07 uh, Silverado Sierra uh, bucket seats because they already have the they already have the seat belts built in. They have a cup holder or console, depending on which one you get. And uh, I don't know. I do have some here. I'm going to try them in here right now. I have not tried them before, so we'll see what's we'll see how that works out. And if not, we'll try to figure out something that will work. I don't know what year this cab is. I think it's a '71. 71 Chevy cab. Uh, fixing up a 68 GMC. The cab is absolutely, there's this doesn't look that bad from here, but it's, it's horrible. But uh, I know like in Texas, this would be a terrible cab, but here in WV, this cab's pretty solid, you know. So we're gonna use it. I'm gonna, it's, a, it's an air cab, so. Everybody will hate this, but it's an air cab. I'm gonna change it over to non-air. Of course, the uh, trim will be different, I don't care. This is a driver, wrap rod, whatever you wanna call it. Patina, you can call it what you want. It'll, it'll be more horrible looking than it will be patina, but uh, let's see what we can do with these seats. I've got a set of seats out of an O, 2002 uh, Silverado. Here's the middle seat. It's got the cup holders on it. I've still got these seat belts in here. I don't think they'll hurt me any. I've got the factory gas tank behind the seat because I'm going to run, I'm going to, even though I'm going to replace it, I am going to run the gas tank behind the seat. I plan to run the gas tank in the cab. And a nitrous bottle standing up beside of it right here with the valve pointing back, facing backwards. That's my, my plan on that. We'll see what the seats will allow or we'll see where we'll get another seat. But we're just, we're checking to see what we do have here. There, the middle seat looks great so far. Here is the driver's seat, kids. Oh yeah, baby. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm-hmm.
couple places, but I mean, what do you want? This is a this is a get by deal. So I can actually move this driver's seat over a little bit if I need to, but I like the looks of that. Cup holder and all, seat belts and all. So let's just sit down. No, of course I don't have a steering column in here. I'm six foot two, six foot three-ish. So I can handle the I can handle the brake pretty well. I think I can handle the gas. I think I'm gonna probably go with these. Uh, bolt them down solid. Put my new. Uh, I'm gonna do some little patching in this floor here. I know it looks bad. It's not that bad. It's really not that bad. Things pretty solid. Um, and you know the roof is nice on it. The roof's nice except for it's leaked a little bit on the other side. And that's when you get some rust up in this piece. I'm going to put that piece in there new. Rest of it, I'm going to patch and gum and get it feasible. I'm going to try to leave as much of this old paint intact as we can. Uh, you know, especially this stuff right here. That's, that's money, dude. That's great stuff, you know. Like Stale Cracker says, man. That's, a, that's money. So. But, uh, pretty sure I'll be using these seats. I like them. I like the way they said I have a truck already with these seats in them. And I really like them. So I'll, I'll uh, patch around this cab. Uh, put my new used seats and fuel tank in there. I have to. I don't know. Only problem I might have is fitting that darn nitrous tank in here. We can look and see how bad that's going mess us up. It's probably going to involve if anybody, my dear wife's in the pasture seat, she's going to be pulled up probably as far as she can. So, <clears throat> here's an empty 10-pound nitrous bottle, pretty well empty. So we need to see if it will even if it's even going to fit in there. It looks like it will, but you know, obviously I have to make a bracket. Something for that baby dog. Okay, so what we got, looks like it's going to sit in there good with a bracket. You've got to face the outlet towards the rear, they say. It's going to be right up against the, well, it's going to be within an inch of the back of the cab. So we can always run it out of the back of the cab. Well, it's not a problem. I don't, I have a really nice bed I'm going to put on this truck and I don't want to do a lot of cutting on it, but the cab, what we have to do is the cab to carve it up, we'll do it. But, uh, for Pete's sake, I think that'll work really good. Picture it, if you will. And the other thing we'll have to do on this jewel is right in there. Well, the sending unit is, I need to figure out, I'm going to run a, again, I'm going to run a fuel tank in the cab, just like this came with. I'm going to have one 3-8 uh, fuel line going out to the carb, and I'm going to have, I want to modify my unit. Hey, excuse me, I'm going to modify my unit. I'm going to have another something, 3 eighths or 5 sixteenths fuel line coming out of that tank going to just to my wet nitrous. So to get my uh, nitrous fuel supply, wet nitrous fuel supply to my plate, I will plan to put a separate pump in my new tank. 
I might include that on a separate video because it sounds like it'll be a challenge. The, the truck we're building here is, a, it's gonna be titled as and look kind of like a 68 GMC. Um, this truck has a 305 GMC V6 that you don't see these every day. It's got the spark plugs over on the intake side of the head instead of on the exhaust. The V6 305 cubic inch, they made these several sizes all the way up to, I don't know what, 400 and something, and they made them into V12s. I don't know. They made bus and truck engines with them. And this is the engine came in the truck. I have no interest in getting it running. Uh, the guy I traded for, he, I don't think he ever had it running. He said he had it hitting or something, but uh, I've done my research on it. For one thing, the power steering bracket and uh, set pump is missing off of it. And it's like, a used one's like five to $800. So I'm not planning on having that much. I'm not planning on having too much more than that in the whole truck. So I'm being realistic. I'm planning on, not planning on having that much in the engine, put it that way. But uh, of course it's an air cab. It's just really bad shape, man. See if we can get some, get some closer pictures of this jewel. It's a long bed truck, of course. I'm going to make a lot of people mad, too, make it a short bed because I've got a bunch of short bed stuff. This cab, see, it's way worse, man. It's just terrible. It's just, you know, to me, it's not worth fixing. Uh, Somebody may fix it, and I'll, I'll probably sell it and get something out of it to offset all my other costs, but it's just, it's too rough for me. I don't want a show truck, I just want something. Oh my gosh, look at that, just look at it. I'm just trying to get something to drive around, have a good time. It's been two, three years of building it. Truck does have a nice patina look to it, but it's just too rough. But anyway, hopefully we can hopefully we can keep it at GMC and a radio. And uh when we get done switching these over, whatever parts I have left, maybe sell them offset my cost. It's a rough old dog. So, anyhow, thank you all for watching, and uh, hope you're interested in this stuff. And I, uh, I think I'm going to definitely go with these Silverado seats. You know, um, I had, I got factory seats there behind me. You can see, uh, they're just, they're too bad to use. You know, and you're talking about getting somebody to rebuild that thing, recover it. Even to just where it's settable, it's just too too costly. Even if you do it yourself, it's ridiculous. And I got some old Cavalier or Cobalt seats, and they just don't sit good in a truck. You know, they're fine in an old car, but I think these uh, I think these Silverado seats will be great in this truck. 99 to 07 Silverado seat. So, let me know how it turns out for you. Thanks, guys.